Welcome, everybody. Hey, hey. Work smarter where you want. This is learning at its most fun. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Jonathan Maddock. I'm a trainer here at Redtail Technology. Uh, I want to thank you all for joining us for another new partner spotlight. Um, this week, we are introducing Red Capture. If you aren't familiar, uh, they are a client capture uh, form software exclusively for Redtail. Um, they're actually a very unique partner because they are the first partner to be exclusively used only for Redtail. So um, we're really excited about, about them. Um, and it's actually is a very, very, very important part of the um, you know, kind of gathering that data. So they definitely fit a need. Um, with me today, I have uh, Tim Baldwin, the CTO of Red Capture. And also, I have Patrick Murray, who is head of support. Um, thank you, gentlemen, for being here. Um, so to go ahead and get started, uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and just, um, you know, Patrick, if you want to go ahead and kick it off and, and go ahead and, and hop right into it. Um, but uh, again, you know, we're going to go ahead and answer questions towards the end. So, Patrick, I'm going to hand it off to you. All right. I appreciate it. Thanks, Jonathan. Thanks, everybody, for attending the webinar. Appreciate it. Um, I have been, uh, I want to give you a little bit of background about uh, Red Capture, how we came about. Um, I've been an advisor, a financial advisor, for a few decades, two or three decades. And over the last 13 plus years, we've been using Redtail CRM exclusively um, as well. We also use Redtail's mail uh, and Redtail's imaging. So, Redtail, as you can see from our practice standpoint, is the centerpiece. It's very important to what we're doing. And um, we came up upon a couple of uh, issues with client onboarding, and we thought, you know, how can we make Redtail better? It's, it's the centerpiece of our practice. We want to be more efficient. We want to save time. We want to have our clients be happy. How can we do this? So um, I attend probably three or four FinTech conferences each year. And as you know, a lot of the talk is about client onboarding, digital client onboarding or integration. They throw the words around um, together. But as I started to look at the solutions, I said, you know what, I'm very invested in Redtail, it works great. How can I avoid having to create a whole nother database, have a different software company, a different vendor, why not try and create something within Redtail that would work exclusively for Redtail and help improve and create office efficiencies with client onboarding? So that's what we did. I sat down with Tim. We worked with Redtail and we came up with Red Capture. And I'm going to go through Red Capture a little bit right here, some of the screens for you. But that was really the background that we were trying to uh, accomplish is digital client onboarding, seamless, easy, efficient, professional. So let me get into just exactly what it is and how it works. Um, the registration part is very simple. I'm not going to get into that. That's only a few screens. When you go in and register, it'll ask you a few questions. Once you're registered, you'll be able to log in. And I'm going to go through the login screen right here. So when you log in, it's going to ask for your Redtail credentials. So this is very important. People say, how do I log in? How does it work? you use your Redtail credentials. So whatever your Redtail user ID is and your Redtail password, that's what you type in and, and then you log in. Pretty simple so far. Um, this is gonna bring you to the Red Capture administration screen. So you're gonna see here that there's a few tabs on the left-hand side. I'm gonna go through those. The most important tab on this screen is gonna be your client information form link. This is the link that you're going to be able to send out to your clients, and they're going to be able to pre-populate all the Redtail fields instantaneously when they complete the forms. They're going to submit it. Within a second, all that data is going to be uploaded and mapped directly into Redtail. We're not a database. We don't keep any of this information. It's going directly from the client link right into the Redtail fields. So let me go through a couple of these fields. Um, the form setting field on the left is going to be the most important. But let me just go through the summary screen. You can see here um, you can track your usage. If you want to log into Red Capture, 
uh, you know, once a week or once a month, whatever you want to do, you can to make changes or to view usage. But once you're registered and you have your link, you may not ever need to log back into Red Capture, and I'll go through why that is. So this is a summary screen. It shows you usage. Um, contact information screen is the next one. That's just my contact information. Billing information is just really credit card information. Um, advisors, if you have multi-advisors, you can set up as the administrator, the advisors here, and then you can invite other advisors. We have 10 advisors in our practice, so we, we, you know, we can invite separate advisors there. This is really where Red Capture and Red Tail come together is the form setting tab. So when you get to the form setting tab, we like to customize it. So we recommend that you put your logo on the email link. I'll show you what it's gonna look like uh, a few pages later, but we customize it, it looks professional. When the clients get it, they really like it. So um, I would recommend that when you do sign up that you try and customize it with your logo. Uh, then after that, you're going to see the field section, which is very important. This is where we at Red Capture mapped 40 plus fields that are direct fields that go directly into Redtail. So we spoke with Redtail and developed it using their existing fields that I've been using for over 13 years. Um, and these are the form links that we have our clients fill out and send back, and like I said, it's instantaneous. Once they click submit, it's, it's in the Redtail CRM. The one thing about the forms field here that we're looking at right now is you can make the field names required or not required. You can uncheck them if you don't want your clients to have to fill out that bit of information. So most of the fields I have, I, I have checked as required. I try and gather as much information as I can. But if you, um, for whatever reason, don't want to fill out, have your client fill out all this information, um, then you can change the field. So let me hop ahead to, uh, obviously you can see this is pretty straightforward. These are just all red tail fields. Name, address, email, you know, these are very important fields. Driver's license number, um, marital status. It asks for pretty much everything that we can get on the red tail fields. Um, then we move into the second tab where you get into the social security number. Um, I've seen some advisors where they just don't want to have some of these boxes checked, which means that when the client gets it, they don't have to check it. They can just go through the form without and, and skip on to the next page without putting in uh, those required answers like risk tolerance. If they didn't, you know, if you don't, for some reason, don't want your clients to fill that out, you can just uncheck it and it will, they won't be asked to do it. So as you can see, you're probably very familiar with all these fields. Um, you can skip down to the next tab, which is employment. Uh, these are all fields we're all familiar with, especially people that have been using Redtail for as long as we have. Um, investment fields, again, same thing. These map directly to Redtail. Uh, dependents, again, all the same. The one tab that I don't use quite a bit as, as, as other people is the bank account tab. Some people, um, you know, are not really comfortable giving banking information and I get it over the internet. So I, I do, I have those unchecked as not required fields. Um, and that, for the most part, this is a really straightforward tool. I wanted, when we created this red capture, we wanted to make it so simple for either the financial advisor the office assistant, the office manager, whoever was helping gather client data, we wanted to make it as simple as possible. And I think we've done that. Um, we've been, we had a soft rollout about three months ago, um, but we've been using it here for about nine months and it's worked great. The last tab here is a scheduler tab and you can set up a schedule where you can have these red capture request data form. You can send the link out every 12 months, every 24 months, every 36 months. We included this just for really compliance reasons so that people, you know, every 36 months, if there's a know your question, know your customer question, you can have this set up automatically so that um, it gets sent out. I personally have it sent out one week prior to my client 
annual reviews. So that way I know during the annual review, I have updated information, you know, whether they change the job, their income change, whatever. Um, so that's how I use it. But, you know, there's thousands of practices out there and everybody uses theirs a little bit differently. So I want to get into the actual link now. So this link is what, once you're registered with Red Capture, you can copy this link and I use it. I send it out through my email um, and just ask clients to click on it and complete it and send it back. So I want to show you what it looks like, the completed form when the link or the completed link, what it looks like when it gets sent out. So this is my actual client link that I send out to people. Um, it's got the logo, and when the client gets it, you know, welcome from your financial advisor. When the client gets it, they just click on here, let's go, and it will ask them to verify who they are um, through either an email or a mobile phone number. Once they do that, Redtail immediately knows who they are. So if they're an existing client and they're in your Redtail CRM, the data will be pulled that you already have on record for them. So all they'll need to do is just update any empty fields or make changes to existing fields that aren't quite right. So this is the link, this is the form that gets sent out to your client. Uh, looks good. We've been sending out to lots of our clients. They are not confused. They know how to fill it out. They don't say it's too long or it's too short. They're, they have no problem. Like I said, the banking stuff, may cause some people problems, but um, I, I don't really ask for that. So this is what the link looks like. You send it out to people. And what happens after the client completes the link and hits submit is within a second, literally, if you click on your Redtail CRM, you will see all that data that they submitted populated into the Redtail fields. So. I'm going to click here on my Redtail CRM, and this just shows in the notes section of this client what they filled out. Now, this isn't real information, but this is um, what it'll look like in the notes section of your client contact. It'll show all the stuff that they filled out. Um, in addition to that, the Red Capture will send an email to the financial advisor saying, John Smith or whoever the client is just completed the form. So that way the advisor knows that they can look and see the information that was updated so that they're on top of uh, their client relationship. So essentially, you know, that is Red Capture. We tried to make it as seamless as possible, as easy to log in, easy to use, easy for the financial advisor, easy for the office administration people, and very easy for the client so that it looks professional. Um, the solution is not, it's not finished. We're still working on, on trying to make uh, some changes down the road with some of the fields with Redtail. And Redtail's been very receptive to, first of all, rolling this out. And they've been very receptive and the feedback's been fantastic about the red tail users that are using it. So um, with that, I'd like to see Jonathan, if we could open it up to questions. And I'd also like to let people know that uh, on the front of the webinar, Jonathan gave out the contact information. If you feel more comfortable saying an email and having me call you back, I, I spent time on the phone with, you know, hundreds of people talking about this. So it, you know, it's a five minute phone call most of the time. So if you're more comfortable, just call me. I'll call you back. We can go through it. Um, but for right now, Jonathan, let's open it up, see if we have any questions. Yeah, that sounds great. Let's go ahead and do so. So um, it looks like we have come uh, quite a bit coming in. Um, and it looks like Tim's actually answering um, some of them already. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and read through them. And, and then if Tim, if you, Tim or um, you know, Pat, if you guys want to go ahead and, and elaborate any, any more than he has already uh, given, then we can go from there. But um, Angela says, uh, is it possible to uh, specify the name as legal name? Um, I also didn't see nickname as a field. And um, Tim's was um, uh, currently only custom user fields or user defined fields can be custom labeled. Um, 
is that something you guys plan on kind of implementing over time? Yeah, that's something that, you know, any of the fields that we can manipulate that will map directly to Redtail, that is what we're going to try and do. Um, once uh, once we have that done, we, we'd like to be a little bit more creative with some of the fields with Redtail. Since this is our first webinar and we're just rolling it out now for the first time, um, we're probably not going to make too many changes within the next 60, 90 days. Sure. But Redtail is open to um, most of our ideas. and. Um, we really appreciate all the feedback because, uh, you know, we can make the changes, uh, if they're possible. Yeah. So, um, so there was another one that had the kind of the same question, you know, can we customize, which that was already answered. So, um, yeah, I like this one. Cause I think this would be kind of nice. Um, any problem using a, 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 like a link shortener, um, with the link. And it sounds like Tim said, nope, there's no problem with that. So like, you know, bit.ly or whatever it is, uh, you know, that's a great you know way to just kind of make the link shorter. Um, so if anybody's looking at that and thinking that might be an idea, you definitely have the ability to, um, let's see here. Oh, this is a good one. Um, so lastly, uh, can clients come back to complete partial completed forms or do they need to finish it all in one sitting? Um, I've seen in the, we've, I've had clients fill out partial forms and click submit. Um, and that part will upload. But I then had to resend the link to them to fill out the rest of it. So it does not, it will not save it. It's going to be its own session. The nice thing about that is, though, there are so few fields, and my clients can get through this, you know, in less than three minutes. I mean, it's really simple stuff. So I don't have a lot of people starting and stopping um, just because, you know, they know most of the information off the top of their head. It's pretty simple. Um, uh, let's see here. Let's see if we have any chat ones. Let's take a look here. Um, um, so I think this might be more of a support question, but uh, we are not getting the emails from the clients that submitted it. Is that um, in the works? Uh, it is. Okay. It is. That should be that should be good to go. I would say by the end of this week. But yeah, the um, the data shows up currently in two places. So when the client submits the link back, you're going to see it automatically in notes under the client contact in Redtail CRM. You'll see it as I just showed you before. The other place you're going to see it is if you're on your Redtail CRM now and you're clicked on the today link on the upper left hand side of the Redtail CRM, across the top you'll see the section that says notes. I, I click on the notes section every day just to see, you know, as part of my practice management. If you click on the notes section at the top of your Redtail CRM, you will see any and all notes, mm -hmm. including the Red Capture link notes that were recently uploaded. So that will be there too. But to answer the first question, um, the advisor email should be up by the end of this week. So the advisors will get notice, notified of anybody that's uploaded the, uh, the link. And just so everybody knows, I, I'm I'm just going to reference the the red toll portion that that, um, that Pat was just mentioning is is that he had, goes to the today page, goes to note, and he just takes a look at every single note that was added into you know the CRM recently. That's what you were mentioning, right? You can take a look at the seven days, twenty three days, last twenty four, just to kind of see how how everything is being you know, pushed into the CRM from that red capture form. Correct. Correct. That's exactly right. So Perfect. the email is the easiest Perfect. one to you know because it it comes directly to the financial advisor. So they'll know immediately, boom, you know, all right, that this was completed. Um, it's also will show up under notes, like we just said, and it will also show up under the client contact notes. So, um, yeah, there's three ways you can see it there. Perfect. Um, so we got a couple other questions. These are good ones. Um, I assume, uh, well, one of the questions is, uh, can we sign up for a demo or a trial? Is that something you guys have available to you? Absolutely. Um, I really didn't go through the pricing or the trials, which I probably should have. Yeah. But um, the, uh, there's a 30-day free trial, so I encourage everybody to sign up, see how you like it. Um, if at 30 days, you know, you don't, uh, you're not happy with it, then you can just cancel. So it doesn't really, uh, won't affect you. The pricing is $9 a month um, for a single user. It's lower for group users, um, but it's $9 a month. So we tried to price it as low as possible. 
I think we did a good job in the pricing. Um, and, you know, when I talk to people on the phone, they're always, you know, saying, yeah, this is amazing. It's fantastic. It's going to save us a lot of time. It's going to save us a lot of work. It's going to be very efficient. It's going to, you know, have our clients be happy. Um, you know, we're not mailing stuff, faxing stuff, scanning stuff, then manually uploading. So for $9 a month, that's $108 a year. You got to, you have to save time and money. You have to. It's just, I agree. Yeah, definitely. Um, and if they have a, a additional questions, they can always reach out to you directly, correct? That's yep, you can send an email to support at redcapture.com or you can call me directly. Like I said, I'm usually on the phone five minutes at a time with people that have Red Capture questions. Usually very simple, but um, you can always call me. My direct line is that one on the screen, 480 5252 and we can walk through it um so anybody have any questions you can call me if you prefer to do it over the phone so we have another question here which i think is actually pretty important because i was kind of even thinking the same thing is um does the verification phone number need to be an existing number in redtail it does if it's an existing client then we usually ask for their mobile phone number as a way to verify who they are or their email address. Um, so that's the way that the system will know who that client is and will be able to pull the information for the existing client into that link. For a new client, um, it'll just ask them for their mobile phone number and that's how they'll verify themselves. They'll get a code sent to them. Then they can uh, log in, complete the form and submit it to Redtail. Perfect. Uh, and then we have, uh, is it possible to do an in-office session so the client doesn't have to log in, um, but they have an ease of completing the data on like an iPad versus pulling up Redtail? Um, and I think that's a great question because a lot of people are, you know, kind of going with this um, kind of, and I, I don't know who exactly coined it. I want to say maybe Ron Carson or somebody who has kind of this experience that I'm, I'm kind of seeing a lot more of is where they come in, they fill it out right there with them um, and it adds a new experience. So this is a great tool for that. Um, and you guys are able to do that, correct? Yeah, it's a great question. If someone comes in your office and they're on an iPad, you know, they, they still would have to um, log into their email to receive that. But once they log into their own email, then they can right there on the iPad, fill it out themselves. Yeah, it's simple. Cool. Let's see here. Do the details um, so do the details auto populate into the corresponding fields, or does it show up only in the notes uh, and then have to be typed into the fields? No, 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 no. That's it, automatic. It, yeah, it automatically goes right into those fields. Um, it's a direct map, right? From you know, social security number goes into social security number, date of birth goes into date of birth. There's no, there's no manual entry on my part or any of the office people uh, that we have using this at all you send out the link there is no manual entries that's the whole that's the beauty of it yeah. all right and then um if we purchase this do we do we have to purchase it for every redtail user or just to purchase it one license for the office well we're we're software you know, it's a software company so it's on a subscription basis so um it's there are price breaks for multiple users, but it's it is on a subscription basis. So, um, you know, if you have five off, you know, five to seven advisors, um, you'd have to set up five to seven users. Um, that's the way the software is set up. But there is a price break on top of the you know already uh, low price. Thanks so much for joining us today for this particular session. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to give us a call at 800-206-5030, option three for support, or just shoot us an email over to support at redtailtechnology.com. Thanks a lot and have a great day.